loose. Yeah, it did. It did. Let me tell you what happened on the date. Can I tell you what happened on the date? Oh, yeah. First of all, I go to pick up Miss Rose Magoo. Yeah. And she looked very cute. She had a pair of shorts on, showed off her beautiful legs. She did have a pair of, like, slippers on her feet. In a way, it was a nice thing because it didn't show her missing toes. <laughs> Anyways, she looked very nice. She had a pretty poke. She, yeah, she did. She had pretty pink ribbons in her hair. Oh, she looked very, very nice. She was happy to see me when I came to pick her up with no car. We were walking. We were walking. So, we're walking down the street. And, of course, hey, do you remember Thor? Do you remember Thor? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The big, yeah. The Rottweiler. Wasn't he a Rottweiler? Yeah, I think he's a Rottweiler. And he comes out of, he comes out behind the gate of his backyard. You know, he's a fugitive, for goodness sakes. And he goes, Hi, Miss Rose Magoo. Hi, Miss... And um, you know what she says? Oh, hi, you Thor. How are you, Thor? I'm like, uh, I, I turned to her. I raised an eyebrow. I raised an eyebrow. I said to her, how do you know him? Oh, buddy, I went on a date with him. Really? Re she has dated the whole entire neighborhood. I said nothing. I said nothing. I figured, you know what? If, if I say something now, the date will be over. So we just continued walking, and we finally got to the park. I laid out the blanket. I had a picnic basket. Mind you, I was carrying all this on my back. Yeah, she didn't even offer to carry some on her back. But I figured, let me not say nothing. Let me not say nothing. Again, the date would end too soon. So, I lay out the blanket. She sits down. And I said to her, isn't this lovely? It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We were right under the trees. We were right by the swings. I said, would you like to go on a swing? I'll push you on the swing. And she goes, buddy, of course. I'd love to go on a swing. So I'm pushing. And I'm pushing. And I almost threw my back out, for goodness sake. You know, she's a little bit bigger than I am. Yeah, she is. She's a little bit bigger. So I'm pushing her. And she's going, ooh, it's so much fun. Ooh, it's so much fun. Don't stop now, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my. My legs were so exhausted. We had a walk, for goodness sakes. And now I'm pushing her on a swing. Finally, she wants to get off the swing. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. So we go. We sit down. I bring out the lunch. Yes, I do. I have the hamburger. I, yeah, I did. I have the hamburger, the fries, and I remembered the vanilla shake. Now, it's not my fault that it was a hot day and the vanilla shake sort of got melted, but that's not my problem, really. I, I had to blame it on the weather. So, but she still, she sipped and she's, yeah, she sipped. Let me tell you something. She gobbled down the hamburger in one second. One second. One big mouth bite and it was gone. Oh, my, thank goodness I bought extra. Because she said, buddy, you have any more hamburgers in that basket? I, oh, most certainly, most certainly. You know, I was trying to be ever so charming, you know, taking small bites. Not her. Oh, my goodness. Not Miss Murth Magoo. She can eat. She can eat. She gobbled down three more. Yes, yeah, she did. She did. Then, all of a sudden, I look over to my left. That's correct. That's my crap. Hey, I'm the general after all. I'm always focusing. I look over to my left, and there's two other females. Yeah, yeah. One collie. Uh-huh. And one shepherd mix. Uh-huh. Females staring at her. Staring at me. All of a sudden, I see her wink. I thought to myself, wait a minute now. Wait, am I getting set up? Am I getting set up over here? She's winking at these other two. Turned out to be her girlfriends. Turned out to be her girl. They come chassaying over. They go, hello, Rose. Oh, I see you're on a date. She already told them for goodness sake. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. She already told them that she would go in the park with me and they were coming to check me out. Oh, my. So, do you, do you know... They sat right down on the picnic blanket. Yeah, they did. They sat right down. And you know what Rose says? Buddy, do you have any more hamburgers in the basket for my girlfriends? Oh, my God. I, most certainly I did not. I most certainly did not. No. She goes, Buddy, uh, my friends would like to have a hamburger. Well, I, I looked in the basket. There was nothing left. She devoured everything. So you know what she says to me? Buddy, I think you need to walk over to McDonald's and go get some hamburgers. Girls, what do you like? All of a sudden now, they start saying, give me three Big Macs, I want extra fries, I, oh my God, oh, and here's me doing a slow burn, a slow burn, that's all I got to tell you. And so, I, I take the order, naturally, naturally, not to make waves, not to make waves, and they're the one, she was like a pork chop, I'll be honest with you, yeah, she was a little bit of a porky, she said, don't forget the extra mayonnaise and dressings and things I like all over my hamburger, uh, if, 
Re really? I said, okay, fine, fine, fine. So then I got up ever so nicely, and I said, excuse me, ladies, let me go over to McDonald's and get you some food, too. I turned my back. I looked behind me. They were all laughing and giggling around the blanket. I thought to myself, what am I, some sort of sucker? I, am I this dumb? Am I this dumb? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. The answer is most certainly yes. I'm an idiot. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But you know what? I went to go get those hamburgers. So then I finally get to McDonald's. Oh, my goodness, the lines, the lines. I can't even begin to tell you. Oh, you think it. You know, it was lunch hour. I can't complain. I really can't complain. So, I ordered all the Big Macs, the extra French fries. I even ordered another vanilla shake for Miss Rose. A nice cold one that was, you know, fresh. They strapped it to my back and I walked back to the park. And I walked. And I walked. It was a long walk. That's all I... My feet were killing me. But I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing. I finally get back to the blanket. The two... Yeah, the two friends are still sitting there drooling, waiting for their food to come. So I sat down ever so nicely, ever so nicely, didn't say anything. Well, that bigger one, she went flying through the bag so fast. She goes, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the all the hamburgers and french fries. You got my extra sauce over here? You got extra mayonnaise? I thought, shut up. I didn't take you out on a date. I'm here with Miss Rose Magoo. Of course, all these things were going on in my head. There was no way I was saying them out loud. But I thought to my man, yeah, really, you slob, can't you not? They wanted free lunch, let's be real. They wanted a free lunch. So, Miss Rose said, oh, buddy, that's so nice of you to do all of this, to go and... and she was ever so pleasant. She really was. You know, I was trying to be pleasant, too, only because I want to lick on the nose at the end of this date. That's correct. Yeah, I'm still a dude, for goodness sakes. But, but. So, the other two are slobbering, eating, mess all over my blanket I had put out. I finally said to them, are you about finished? They go, oh, my belly is so full, buddy. Thank you so much. Now I'm so full, I go, good, get up and start walking. Yeah. Hey, I, it came right out of my mouth. I said, well, ladies, go take some exercise and walk that McDonald's off. Yeah, go ahead. Go walk it off. Go walk it off. Oh, my goodness. Finally, they left. So finally, we get up and we walk around the lake. We walk down the path. And then I said to Miss Rose, Miss Rose, there's a lovely, lovely trail around the park and around the lake. Would you like to take a walk around the lake? She goes, oh, most certainly, buddy. I would love that. I figured, you know what? We could sort of exercise some of the fat we just ate. Yeah, we did. Oh, my goodness. And at least she did. I was lucky to get a bite of something. But again, in my head, in my head, wasn't saying it out loud. So we walk around the lake and we came across two big rocks. And I said to her, are you tired, Miss Rose? Would you like to sit for a minute? Oh, she said, buddy, you're ever so kind. Yes, yes, like I'd like to sit and rest my feet for a minute. I, I figured, okay, okay, I'm going to make my move. I'm going to make my move. So she sits down and she goes, look how beautiful the lake is. Look how crystal clear everything is. I wasn't looking at the lake. I was looking at her. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Anyway, I, hey, listen, listen, I'm still a dude. I'm st Hey, listen, I like a little romance. I like a little romance myself. So... I get closer and closer, and I sit next to her, and I'm gonna, oh my, and let me tell you something, I'm going in, I'm going in for the lick, yes I am, oh my goodness am I ever, then all of a sudden the phone goes off, and all hell broke loose, oh my goodness, see you on the next one my friends.